your statewide forecast first. A mostly cloudy sky across the state, but some parts of the state, the River Valley up into northwest Arkansas, seeing some sunshine and the temperatures are responding. You're going to kind of go wow when you see these temperatures in just a second. Showers and thunderstorms that started around Jonesboro now becoming severe storms over into Tennessee, where there is a tornado watch. Tennessee into Kentucky, southern Illinois, and southeast Missouri. No county in Arkansas is under this tornado watch, but we may have storms later on this evening because look at these temps. Russellville is already 75. Fort Smith is 82 degrees. Here's your warm air. A cold front's advancing into the state tonight, so we're going to watch mainly a quiet afternoon. Afternoon, but around 5 o'clock, west and northwest Arkansas, north central Arkansas, could see some storms forming that will move east and southeastward as we go into the evening hours. So we're going to be talking about our severe weather threat for tonight coming up in your statewide forecast here on Arkansas Today. Now, covering every county, this is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good afternoon, I'm Suzanne Brunner. We are following breaking news just into our newsroom minutes ago about a presumptive positive case of the coronavirus in Arkansas. Arkansas Today's Jay Burr joining us live from Arkansas Children's Hospital right now with more on what we know about this case. Jay. Jay can hear the show. Yeah, that's right, guys. Good afternoon. Uh, we have gotten word just recently that from a Northwest Arkansas spokesperson of Arkansas Children's Hospital that the Little Rock branch of Arkansas Children's Hospital has come up with a presumptive positive test for the novel coronavirus. Uh, not much else is known at this point, what division or, or anything like that. We do know that the hospital is trying to gather information on who may have been in contact, whether that be from a patient standpoint or an employee standpoint as well. But again, uh, we've gotten confirmation that there has been a positive presumptive test here at Little Rock's Arkansas Children's Hospital. Obviously, that will now be sent to the CDC for uh, official confirmation. But again, uh, that presumptive confirmation was now the second one here in the state of Arkansas, as we reported yesterday there in Pine Bluff was the very first case here. Uh, coming up here at 145, the governor is going to be updating us on the status of the coronavirus here in the state of Arkansas, if there's going to be anything else put into place. Uh, and we will be streaming that on all of our websites. But for now, from outside Children's Hospital, Jay Burr for Arkansas Today. All right, Jay, thanks so much. Uh, we're going to continue to follow that story and bring you any new information as it comes into our newsroom. We also are following some breaking news out of Nashville. The SEC has announced it's canceling the SEC tournament. Drew Amon with our Pig Trail Nation crew is in Nashville, Tennessee right now with the very latest. Uh, Drew, the information coming in more than an hour ago, what do we know so far? Yeah, a little more than an hour before tip-off of the noon game here on day two of the SEC tournament. The decision comes in to cancel the rest of the SEC tournament. Just two games were played Wednesday night. So Greg Sankey, during a press conference yesterday, talked about the severity of this issue and then basically followed up with a swift decision here along with the rest of the conference personnel making the decision to cancel the rest of the tournament. It's all about how the health and well-being of the student athletes and coaches is paramount. And Arkansas, of course, a team that was supposed to face South Carolina later tonight. Again, the entire SEC tournament canceled and all sports in the SEC canceled through March 30th. Drew Ammon here from Bridgestone Arena in Nashville, Tennessee. All right, Drew, thanks so much. I do want to mention that 11 big tournaments, basketball tournaments, that is, have been canceled because of the coronavirus concerns. I can tell you the Big East tournament is the lone major men's tournament continuing Thursday. Uh, Creighton and St. John started their quarterfinal game uh, noon Eastern time, so we'll keep you updated on that. But here in Little Rock, Little Rock Mayor Frank Scott Jr. issued a declaration of emergency following the outbreak of the coronavirus. Mayor Scott saying today's declaration declaration uh, is so that the city can receive necessary resources from the state and federal governments. For the next 60 days, though, events that have more than 200 people will be rescheduled. That includes the inaugural 2020 Little Rock Police Unity Ball, the Sustainability Conference, and the Rights and Wrongs 2020 event. With efforts ramping up from coast to coast, to combat the coronavirus. The president spoke to the nation last night, issuing new measures to help protect you. And now many travelers are waking up to new guidelines as they figure out what to do next. Here's NBC's Tom Castello. 
my fellow Americans. In a primetime address, President Trump announcing suspension of all travel from Europe to the U.S. for the next 30 days. We are marshalling the full power of the federal government and the private sector to protect the American people. Using some of his most pointed language yet when talking about the coronavirus. This is the most aggressive and comprehensive effort to confront a foreign virus in modern history. The restrictions, which go into effect Friday at midnight, only apply to foreign nationals, not U.S. citizens or their family members. The travel ban to 26 European countries does not include the United Kingdom and only impacts people, not goods. The European Union failed to take the same precautions. As a result, a large number of new clusters in the United States were seeded by travelers from Europe. This morning, the State Department is raising the worldwide travel advisory to level three, urging all U.S. citizens to reconsider traveling abroad. Meanwhile, the president also announcing new measures to protect Americans from both the medical and financial toll of the disease, including waiving all co-payments and extending insurance coverage for coronavirus treatments, offering low interest loans and deferred tax payments for small businesses in affected areas, and financial relief for those quarantined and their care Givers. Each of us has a role to play in defeating this virus. Wash your hands, clean often used surfaces, cover your face and mouth if you sneeze or cough, and most of all, if you are sick or not feeling well, stay home. The action comes as the World Health Organization is now classifying the spread of the virus as a global pandemic. On Capitol Hill, top health official Dr. Anthony Fauci with this warning. Bottom line, it's going to get worse. And pushing back on those who downplay the severity of the situation. We would hope that as we get to warmer weather, it would go down. But we can't proceed under that assumption. We've got to assume that it's going to get worse and worse and worse. Listen carefully to Dr. Fauci's numbers. The flu has a mortality of 0.1%. Sure. This has a mortality of 10 times that. What Dr. Fauci said right there is critical because the CDC says we have so far this year had at least 20,000 people die from the seasonal flu. And now health, health experts say we could see 10 times that many die from the coronavirus. That underscores how serious this is. Meanwhile, airports like this one are seeing passenger levels drop dramatically because of the coronavirus effect. I'm Tom Costello in Washington. Back to you. All right, Tom, thanks so much. U.S. stocks hit critical circuit break it, breaker levels again this morning, just minutes after the opening bell. Here you can see the S&P 500 hit the New York Stock Exchange's 7% threshold. Decline prompting that halt. Now trading resumed at close to 10 Eastern time, 15 minutes later. This is the second time this week trading has been halted as global markets plunged amid investor fears about the coronavirus global pandemic. And just hours after President Trump addressed the nation over concerns of the coronavirus, Senator Tom Cotton announced that he will be closing his Washington, D.C. office. Here's what he had to say, and I quote, My first priority is always the safety of our people. From the beginning, I have heeded the counsel of Benjamin Franklin. An ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I urge every American to do the same. Now, as for Senator Cotton's Arkansas office, it will remain open for the time being. The coronavirus is also affecting sports. The NBA announced last night that it has suspended all games until further notice. The announcement was made shortly after learning a player with the Utah Jazz tested positive for COVID-19. Still to come, the governor stopped by to talk about the coronavirus here in Arkansas. Plus, the effect of the coronavirus is hitting airports across the nation. But we're going to explain how it's affecting one Northwest Arkansas airport next. And, of course, we'll keep our eyes on the severe weather potential for this evening. Already some severe storms toward our northeast from uh, Missouri into Tennessee and Kentucky. But for Arkansas, it looks like that game may get started this evening. We're going to break that down coming up in your statewide forecast next. KARK 4 News is sponsored by Everett Buick GMC. 